hear about kosher? You know, the special diet for Jews written in the Torah? Well, I'm Rabbi Benny, and today, we gonna do some juice-splaining. The kosher diet is written in the Torah and explained in Jewish law, given by God to all Jewish people. Yo, Rabbi, try these organic chicken burritos? Steve. You know I'm on a strict kosher diet. To be clear, kosher is not so much a diet for the body. It's more of a diet for the health of the soul. Right. Doesn't the rabbi need to bless the food to make it kosher? Bring in the baby. No, 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 no. Kosher has nothing to do with weird rituals or blessings. It's actually practical, like very practical. So here are the basic fundamental laws of kosher, Rabbi Benny style. Hit it. If you're heading out to eat on some fine kosher meat, you can dine if you find the two necessary signs. Split hooves at their feet and chew their cut to the beat. What if you're looking for a dish of some delicious fish? Then again you'll find two kosher signs. Fins and scales, no shellfish or whales. And you'll still the fish don't swim, don't be listening to those tales. And the birds that are kosher don't have any special signs. But from the Torah we know which ones are the kosher kind. Okay, this seems easy. Split hooves to their cud, fins and scales, and kosher birds from the Torah. Now the next kosher rule might make you irritated. Cause dairy and meat are always kept separated. So cheeseburgers? No, don't go mixing meat and cheese. Pepperoni pizza? No, would you listen to me please? Cause there are two sets of pots and pans and dishes in the kitchen. One for dairy, one for meat. We don't let them do no switching. One more question, Rabbi Benny, and I don't mean to rush you, but do you- No, Steve, you don't need two different washrooms. <laughs> Now just because the animal is deemed kosher, it doesn't mean that you can eat it yet. It still needs to be killed in a special, humane way. So the rabbi who kills the animal, called the shochet, checks his knife to make sure that it's always razor sharp with no tiny bumps, otherwise it ain't kosher. And finally, the meat is salted to remove the blood. Yeah, blood's another thing that's not kosher. Oh! Is that the reason you don't floss? What? No! Don't be ridiculous! But I still don't get the problem with these organic chicken burritos! Well, kosher is so important and has so many detailed laws that special supervisors called mashkichim travel around the world to different companies that process all kinds of food, analyzing the machines and production process to make sure that nothing non-kosher gets mixed in or exposed to the kosher food. Mashkichim are generally nice people. If the process is all kosher and cool, then the rabbi will add his certification called a hechsher. And with that, you're all set and ready to eat. But we still haven't got to the most famous Jewish question of all time. Hey, is, is this on sale? What? No! The, the question is why? Why is the kosher diet even in the Torah? I know. It's a way for the rabbis to control the population. I even saw it on the Google. Well, actually, not really. Although keeping kosher is a perk that holds communities together, the real reason for kosher isn't even known. Jews keep it simply because God commanded them to. You see, God created souls, and he also created animals. He knows exactly what's compatible for the soul's spiritual health and what's damaging to it. So food that's not kosher blocks the Jewish soul's ability from reaching its full potential and sensitivity, which is why keeping kosher is so vital. It's the healthy Jewish diet for a healthy Jewish soul. 
everyone, we here at the Chabad Kabul Jewish Center are elevating our outreach efforts by God willing opening Kabul's first ever kosher restaurant, the Baha Kosher. It'll allow us to reach thousands of more Jewish tourists and visitors to our neck of the desert. And we're doing it by asking you- Wait a second, did you just make this whole kosher video to make a plug for your restaurant? Oh! Hey, Rabbi, ow! <laughs> Baja Kosher will offer delicious kosher meals together with Mexican Judaica, mitzvahs on the go, a tefillin stand, the whole Jewish shebang. It'll allow us to reach our potential as a Jewish outreach center. So we've opened a GoFundMe campaign asking our friends, supporters, and you, our viewer, to donate to this initiative and help get this amazing project rolling. We're even offering some amazing rewards for your support. Get a sandwich or drink named after you. Your very own shout out on a future Rabbi Benny video? How about having a Mexican mariachi band play you a thank you song. Free drinks, Baja Kosher t-shirt and cap, it's all on our GoFundMe page. So check it out, it's in the video description, and thanks for your support.